welcome friends today we will learn how to uh, download or create a project using spt our own project so let me show you from the starting as we open the official website go to try okay and from there uh, you can see the this link create a play java or scale up project using spt new so uh, we are going to uh, create java project and uh, i'm just copying it and pasting it in the uh, terminal set insert and fire this command and it will uh, download or and create the project for us and it will uh, require the internet connectivity so you should have a good internet connectivity and you should name the project let me name the project my first play project and now it's uh, asking for the organization uh, let me name it com dot example and the project get created and you can see it here my first clip project and initially it contains uh, uh, these things these folders and uh, app folder and which contains the controllers and views folder curl folder and which contains the configuration files and click folder contains the html stuff and in this tutorial we are not focusing for uh, for html part we will focus mainly on api part and and uh, let me st start this project as we uh, doing previously uh, just to open the terminal and just fire the command spt run now it will take time to download the dependencies which we uh, which which are used in this project and it will download the dependencies for the first time uh, after then it will just simply compile the code and run the code and initially it will take time for downloading so till then let me pause the video now the project get downloaded uh, it's running on the uh, port number 9000 so let's try to run it and i have run the localhost 9000 and it shows a welcome message welcome to play so let's uh, see the project directory and here app go into app controllers home controller and home controller extends the con controller package which is inside mvc dot uh, mvc package so here it uh, we can see index returns this uh, link uh, written okay and it will it is rendering a html page and you can see uh, it is uh, rendering this html page so we can render our own message like uh, we can define we can write uh, hello world and just save it and just rerun it uh, you don't need to rerun it just reload the page it will auto reload the project here it is hello world and in spring the uh, for hot reloading you have to configure it but in play you don't have to manage that stuff uh, you can see it renders hello world 
so uh, let me show you the code folder where the routes and on requesting uh, this URL it will go to home controller and will call index function so uh, in the similar fashion it is calling index and here we can see it uh, uh, written back hello world and this ok uh, uh, shows the uh, response getter successfully and it will return and it is the part of the result class so result class will uh, render the response of an api or an page so this is for today and in my further videos we will see other concepts of play framework thanks for watching